to be expected. I'm just like thinking about just everything that happened. Like I literally was looking forward to like a good freaking house tour, man. Yesterday, Marcel got approval from the halfway house for a weekend visit. When the last time you used the stove? Uh, yesterday. Well, you should have cleaned it. Now, don't keep disrespecting me. I'm about to slap the out of you on camera. Go my side. Okay, bye. I'm not exactly sure where he went. I'm not exactly sure who he's with. I do not know. When he was in prison, it's some of the letters and stuff that I have. Martel is definitely a alpha male. I just want you to know that I miss you, baby girl, which makes me love and want you even more. He's very strong. He's not afraid to speak his mind, and I do like that about him. But disrespecting me, that's unacceptable. But disrespecting me, that's unacceptable. Trying to avoid it even worse. Say it instead. Well, look who decided to come home. Did he bring an apology? Yeah. He brought the dining room set. We need to have a conversation. Okay, give me a kiss. You miss me? No. <laughs> well, I miss you. You hear me? Mm, where you been? You want some while I'm pouring it? No, thank you. Sure. I called Pops last night. Yeah, he picked me up, went and seen my grandma, went to grass on the eat. It's the honest God truth. How you been? Irritated. You been irritated since Yeah, then? by you. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> like, you laughing, I'm serious as hell. So you need to do what you need to do, and that's to take accountability and apologize. Kayla's a sweet person. She's a real sweetheart. She's one of the sweetest um, females i ever been with, you know what I mean? And I love her dearly for her, you know? But um, all of this, you know, yelling and stuff, I'm not going to sit around and... Uh, tolerated. You just gonna disrespect me and come back in here and act like nothing ever happened? You, you disrespect me. How, who the one been working their ass off to make any of this happen? Whether the stove was dirty or not? The stove. Okay, whether there was laundry or not? Why would you even say that at that time? And if I'm telling you I felt disrespected? Lower your voice. Who the is you yelling at? Cause you starting to piss Lower me off. Voice, you know, I'm an apology. Lower your voice, man. Who the is you yelling at? What's wrong with you? You! You better lower your voice. You, you're my problem. You? There's no way in the world somebody can agree with you. Oh, he disrespected you for asking you when the last time you cooked. <laughs> I'm done with this. I knew that he was going to be passive about the situation because he was in the wrong. And that's typically how he'll get down. Even like when we're on the phone and he, when he's in prison, he'll try to change the topic and stuff like that. I am not having it. Well, I'm hungry. What do you want to eat? Mmm, shrimp alfredo from the strip club. Mm. I don't know why you're being such a ass. You think it's a cute show, and it really ain't. All it's doing is making a problem between me and you. That's what it's doing, and it's gonna be the biggest one. You can't change how you feel. You're free to voice your opinion. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> you in that phone. The situation is really small. Yeah. Ain't yeah. really nothing to be beeping about for real, bro. You get what I'm saying? Speaking of, she just walked in now. Hey, babe. You all right? Mm-hmm. Where you go? Around. So um, you want to try to have a conversation again? What, what do you want to say? Like, you have something to say, or? You feel that I embarrassed you? I'm mad enough to apologize for that. I apologize if I embarrass you. If you feel that I disrespected you and want me to apologize because you felt I disrespected you, I can't do it. You know why? Because I didn't disrespect you in no form or fashion by asking you. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, okay. If I tell you that I felt disrespected, I'm the one that was on the receiving end. You weren't, so you didn't have to deal with no disrespect. I did. 
disrespecting you by asking you a question? Did you cook last night? You yelling at the girl, that's disrespecting the person. You telling somebody You pissed me off. It don't matter. You deserve the disrespect about not that knowing came with that. Disrespecting the person. How the a person gonna know when they ain't disrespect somebody? But I'm telling you, you did. But I'm telling you, you disrespected me. You can't tell me that when I didn't do it. You can't tell you. That's the problem. Lower your voice. Right now, you disrespecting me. Oh, do you feel disrespected? Yeah. Okay, cool. How does that make you feel? Uh, I'm cool. I'm just letting you know, lower your voice. We ain't gonna disrespect each other. Oh, you but you already did. No, that's how you feel. Sure. Isn't that true? Cute. I'm exhausted, honestly. It's just like talking to a brick wall. But we have dedicated so much time to each other um, over these 13 years. It's definitely petty to give up over a small argument. I don't want to feel like this somewhere. So I think the best thing for us to do is to, you know, just kind of like cool down for tonight and, you know, get in more of a peaceful space. And then we can have a conversation about, you know, how to handle it differently in the future or whatever the case may be. I respect that. She's overreacting, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna give her a space. I'm gonna give her what she asked for. But um, the apology she expected, it'll never come. You know, so that ain't even really a discussion.